This investigative programme contains graphic descriptions of violence and themes of loss and distress, which some viewers may find upsetting. Saturday, June 2nd, 2018. In the quiet streets of Ipswich, a young man is suddenly attacked. I couldn't have even imagined that I was going to lose my son that day. 17-year-old Tavis Spencer Aikins is found on the street, dying from multiple stab wounds. I honestly just felt so sorry for him. His friends and neighbours are in shock. The community fell apart. Even people who didn't know Tav fell apart. No one understands why such a popular young man was so brutally murdered in broad daylight. Could this have been a robbery? Could this have been a targeted attack? Was it just that Tavis was in the wrong place at, at the wrong time? Ipswich, a market town surrounded by a countryside, far from England's big cities. Yet it was here that a savage crime took place in 2018, which made headlines across the country. Tavis Spencer Aitkins was attacked and stabbed in what the police have described as an act of extreme violence and cowardice. 17-year-old Tavis was stabbed to death for no apparent reason early one evening, heading off for his dinner. It's not the sort of place that you'd associate with the brutal murder of a black boy, but it's where Tavis lived and died and where most of the clues will be found. How could this apparently senseless murder happen? I'm heading to the Ipswich suburb of Nacton to find out more about Tavis from his friends and family. And no one knew him better than his mum, Sharon. Sharon, thank you so much for meeting me today. I just want to know more about Tavis. What was he like as a child? Tavis was very boisterous, loud, um, but loving. Sweet, yeah. sweet boy. Clap hands. Yay, good boy. He loved music, he was um, really sporty, mm. loved all sports, football, basketball, swimming, tennis. Wow. Finish now, Tav, finish! Yeah, Tav, well done. I've heard that Tavis was quite, was quite a big boy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really tall. He'd stand in a doorway and he'd just reach the top of the door. <laughs> really? It's ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. He yeah. really light up when you speak about mm. Tavis. Yeah, I was really proud of him. Yeah, I really was very proud of Tav. Throughout his childhood, Tavis was closest to his twin brother, Tyler. Yeah, he played pranks all the time on me and my mum and stuff. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, he's just really like in your face, I guess. Yeah. We would argue a lot and like get into fights a lot, but um, we still like we love each other and stuff, you know. Like still had like that kind of brotherly bond. At seventeen, Tavis was starting to plan his future. He'd left school, tried building work, and was thinking about going to technical college to learn a trade. He also had a wide circle of friends. You'd always make sure you're doing the right thing. That's always one thing he'd add to his sentence, is it would either be roll safe or stay in school. He was just always laughing, making people laugh. That was like one of his best traits, I think, just always making everyone smile. <laughs> he was, yeah, always smiling. The guy was strong. If he saw you struggling with something, he'd, you know, help lift your shopping into your house. There's a lot of people that can vouch for him and say that he was a good lad. He was big, big feet, you know, so he was a gentle giant. He was huge, but he was kind as anything. So why would anyone want to attack this gentle giant? On the evening of June 2nd, 2018, Tavis was on his way to have dinner at his dad's house, not far from where Sharon lived. What do you remember about the 2nd of June, 2018, mm. that day? I was talking to my sister on the phone, um, we were making arrangements for Jamaica for the holiday for the boys' 18th. Tav was so excited, he couldn't wait. And then I put the phone down to her. Within five, ten minutes, she phoned me back to say that he'd been stabbed. Just 
screamed. And we just got in the car, we got down to the scene so quick. There was loads of people, just crowds of people. The road was all taped off. There was police cars everywhere.